Today, I'll be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 8.1. For those of you who might not be aware, the actual Pangu iOS 8 jailbreak came out about a week and a half ago, but it hasn't been entirely stable, and also Cydia was not bundled with the jailbreak until they released version 1.10 today, which is awesome because now I feel comfortable showing all of you how to jailbreak. Before it just wasn't stable, there was an issue with passcodes up until a day ago, and now all the stars have aligned and we're talking about how to jailbreak. First thing you wanna do, as always, whenever you mess around with jailbreaking, and I will say this and continue to say this in every single jailbreak video that I make, you want to do a backup. Now, usually I back up with iCloud, but it is highly recommended that you back up your device with iCloud. Sorry guys, my phone is going crazy today. Um, but it is highly recommended that you back up your device straight to your computer or via iCloud. Backing up to your computer is more recommended because then you will have a full complete backup if something would go wrong. But please, if you take one thing out of this video, back up your device before jailbreaking. Next up, before we start the jailbreak process, you've got to head over to settings and if you have a passcode lock or touch ID enabled, you have to disable both of those before we start the process. So. Just because I made this video, I didn't have one enabled by default, but 99% of the time I'm using a passcode. So if I had 1111, just go ahead and disable it just like that. And after you've disabled the passcode, head over to your iCloud settings. Scroll down just a little bit until you see Find My iPhone. Flip that little switch over to the left if you have Find My iPhone enabled. And then you will have to enter your Apple ID password just to make sure that you are the one disabling this iCloud setting so that if somebody stole your phone, they wouldn't be able to remove Find My iPhone if you needed to find it. Regardless, once you've disabled those two things, we can head over to our computer. If you are using a Windows computer, which you likely are if you're watching this video at the time it was recorded, because unfortunately the Pangu jailbreak, or I should say the Pangu team, has only released the Pangu tool for the Windows computer. So make sure you have iTunes downloaded. That's completely arbitrary. Just make sure it's on your computer. Uh, so that the jailbreak works properly. And now to actually download the jailbreak tool, head over to pangu.io or en.pangu.io for English users. I'll have a link right down below in the description and once you're there, click on the huge Windows download button to your right of the screen. It'll take about a minute to download depending on your internet speeds and it's around 42.2 megabytes I believe. When that is done downloading, I just skipped over that little part for the sake of time in the video. You wanna launch it right up and then make sure your device, your iPhone is plugged into your computer. From here, we are ready to get this process going. Simply click the start jailbreak button or the start button that is in bright blue right down below on the jailbreak utility. And it'll give us a pop-up message. Sorry to build you guys up just to tear you down there. But yes, for the first time with the jailbreak that I've used in recent years, there's actually an info screen just reaffirming what I told you before. Number one, like with all jailbreaks, there is a small chance that you will experience data loss. That did not happen in the slightest for me, but it says back your device just in case something would go wrong. Once again, a full backup is recommended. Number two, we want to quickly switch our device to airplane mode. So just head back over device, head back over to our device, swipe up on control center and tap on airplane mode and we are done with our device until we revisit it after the jailbreak is completed. And for number three, if you have a lot of data on your device, it suggests restoring to a clean backup or a clean refresh jailbreaking and then backing up your data to your device and putting all of your data back on there after the jailbreak is complete. Very quickly, once you've done all these things, feel free to go ahead and click on already did and the jailbreak process will begin. Very quickly, I want to remind all of you not to touch your device during this process, not to mess with your computer, not to, just don't do anything. Make sure the USB and lightning cables are firmly attached so that nothing goes wrong mid-process. And it's actually quite funny because I experienced a really weird issue when I was jailbreaking with Pangu, just this version, five minutes before I recorded this video. It was going along really quickly. It finished in about 30 seconds when the actual process that I did now that you're watching took about three or four minutes. All of a sudden, a blue screen f flashed. I knew something was wrong then, and City wasn't installed, Pangu app wasn't installed, nothing went right whatsoever. So all I did to fix that problem, if you do experience that, is simply re-jailbreak again. Unplug your device from the lightning cable, plug it right back in. 
don't change anything, leave it exactly like it was, airplane mode and all, or I'm, maybe I even switched airplane mode off, but anyway, don't restore if you experience that issue, if you see a blue screen flash or something fails, simply plug your device back in and re-jailbreak. That's what I did now and everything went great. For the sake of time, once again, I skipped over the very last portion of the jailbreak process. It required no user interaction whatsoever. And if I unlock my device for the first time, there we go. Glorious Cydia in all of its beauty is now installed on our device on iOS 8.1. Just go ahead and launch the app up and it will do the infamous reloading sources or loading up all of the different packages from all the different repos in Cydia. Preparing file system is what I believe it's called. And I'm going to skip over this once again, just because this process alone takes about three or four minutes just by itself, because Cydia has so many files in it that you can browse or look at or that are installed. After that, just simply unlock our device, head back to Cydia, and there we go. It's reloading our sources. This is the latest version of Cydia installed, working with iOS 8 and the iPhone 6, version 1.1.15, and that's it. You've jailbroken your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch on iOS 8.1. If you enjoyed watching the video and it helped you out, please feel free to leave a like down below and of course subscribe for more content related to City of Tweaks, themes, jailbreaks, all that good stuff I cover here in my channel. This was Sam with iUpdateOS, and I'll see all of you in my next video.